Hello and welcome to another Retro video. This is the Sega Game Gear. Today we are going to be looking at the mods that have been done on this Game Gear and a brief overview of the history of the Game Gear console. The Sega Game Gear was released in Japan in 1990 and then on to other regions where it was available. The console was an 8-bit system which was mainly aimed at competing with the Nintendo Game Boy and also Atari Lynx, both of which were handheld systems like the Game Gear. Unfortunately, the Sega Game Gear didn't enjoy the success of the Nintendo Game Boy console, which came out on top, despite a non-colour screen like the Game Gear. The Game Gear was both bulkier and extremely draining on batteries. There was the option of adding a rechargeable power pack, which only made things heavier, and also a mains power supply, which to be honest, then defeats the purpose of a portable system, but I suppose a good option when not on the move. The Game Gear shares a lot of its hardware with the Sega Master System console and can play the Master System games with an additional add-on. Between 1990 and 1997, Sega sold approximately 11 million units of the Game Gear, which was far behind the conquering Game Boy. So now let's take a look at this particular Game Gear. So this Game Gear is from my own collection. When I purchased this Game Gear, it had a damaged screen. It since had a replacement screen fitted. This is an LCD type. It also had a capacitor replacement. This was a full replacement of all the capacitors inside the system. So now between the screen and the capacitor replacement, it's now functioning really well. As you can see from the exterior of the system, it's in pretty good condition. There's any minor marks and signs of usage throughout the years. I haven't done anything to the outside of it other than clean it up. There's no outer screen that's been replaced, it's just been cleaned and polished. You can also see here that the battery terminals are in good condition. Whilst I know the insides are far from original, I wanted to try and keep the outside as original as I can. I know sometimes when you replace the outer screen it doesn't look quite so good. So here you can see the process of fitting six batteries into the back of the Game Gear. This is a process that most people came accustomed to when they owned it years back. So the LCD conversion does make it a lot better on batteries. They don't go through nowhere near as fast as what they did when they were original. Here's a quick demo of the system running. As you can see from the video, the LCD screen looks really good. It looks really bright and everything is nice and clear. And here, just showing a closer look at the screen, you can see again, it just looks really good. It's a much needed modification on these Sega Game Gears. To be honest, if you wanted to keep one original, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. But if you've got one with a damaged screen, then yeah, definitely. I'd definitely replace it. I wouldn't even think about it. So I actually do have another Sega Game Gear that I'm going to be showing the process of changing the LCD screen. It is a modified type of LCD screen compared to this one that I did. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the difference between the two and how easy they are to fit. Now I'm just getting this one ready to pack back up. I think I've got most of the parts that come complete with this from original. I've got the carry strap, the two manuals, the one for the console and the one for the game, the polystyrene case, and obviously the box and I think that was all of it on this one. So just a quick recap, if you do have a Sega Game Gear and the screen's damaged then I'd definitely recommend doing an LCD conversion. I would shop around and have a look and see what the best one is to get. Both of the ones that I've bought are from AliExpress. As you can see it gives a great look to it and if you're going to be playing it regularly then it's an ideal addition to the Game Gear. The capacitors are also a good thing to look at, especially being this old they quite often fail or will be failing soon. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Look out for the video that's going to be coming soon, showing the LCD replacement on the other console. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.